Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The question for this lecture is, in constructing Islamic economics, should we take the existing body of economics and modify it, reform it to match Islamic ideas, or should we just discard everything in Western economics and start by building on new foundations? This is based on a discussion held at the Journal of King Abdulaziz University. Uh, the title of which was Dialogue and Reform in Modern Economics and Implications for Islamic Economics. Uh, Jack Reardon wrote the lead paper and my response was launching a revolution based on Islamic economics and I am going to talk about my paper but the whole discussion with many other responses available from the links on this page. The abstract for my paper lists the following five points that economics, modern economics is broken beyond the possibility of reform or repair and it remains dominant only because it serves the interests of the powerful and for there is overwhelming empirical evidence against all of the main theories of economics. The underlying moral ideas uh, based on greed, pursuit of pleasure, power and profits, competition, these are toxic ideas for human lives and for the planet and Islam provides us with a revolutionary alternative based on cooperation, generosity, social responsibility and the idea that all of the creation is the family of God. The discussion for the journal was guided by eight questions so we will consider these eight questions. The first one is economics, is economics relevant to the real world and the answer in this paper is that it's not just irrelevant, it actually is an obstacle to understanding what real world is all about. Economic theories prevented economists from understanding that the global financial crisis is about to happen and they prevented economists from finding the correct solutions to the problem. And policies based on economic theories are shown, can be proven to be have caused enormous amount of ha harm to the real world. Nonetheless, there is stubborn resistance to change in the profession and the reason for this is that these economic theories create massive amounts of inequality and provide wealth and power in the hands of a very small uh, minority, the top 0.01% and this minority funds and finances uh, modern economics because it is helpful to their interests. So the second question is, if is there need for reform in economics? Well, the answer is that economics is so bad that it cannot be reformed. We have a situation where more than a billion people are living below the poverty line and only about $700 billion is needed per year to put everybody in the planet out of the poverty line. 700 billion is less than the defense budget of the USA and is less than 15% of the total military budget, budget of the world. So if we just move towards peace for only about 15%, we can wipe out all the poverty. But economic theory has nothing to say about these matters. So the third question is pluralism, the answer. If economic theory is bad, maybe we need a multiplicity of theories. So again, uh, the problem is the Islamic moral foundations are diametrically opposed to modern economics. So we can't have both. We can't have both greed and generosity. We can't have both cooperation and competition. Only one of these principles can be the founding principles. In Islam, pluralism has rather different answer. It is based on the idea that Allah Ta'ala has shown us the two highways. One is of good and one is of evil and it has let us free to choose so there is no compulsion in religion and so this idea that we should be tolerant and we should allow different people to try different things this is a different kind of pluralism from the idea that everything goes and there is no real good and there is no real evil and everybody is free to choose whatever pathway they like. There has been a lot of discussion after the global financial crisis about reform the question is, is this genuine? Also, there are actually uh, multiple points of view. There is the bottom 90% which is really suffering and which is oppressed and uh, which is losing wealth shares uh, with increasing inequality. 
and so their cries are genuine but within economics the reforms are just window dressing they just create an appearance of change but no real change and the reason for this is that genuine reform will change the power structure it will give more power to the masses and it will take away power from the ruling classes so it cannot be done by uh, uh, by modest changes it requires some sort of a political revolution it, uh, to change the power structures so the, of the reforms which have been done there is some more behavioral economics and many other different types of things are coming into play are have they been useful well the problem is that uh, the power structures co-opt these calls for reform all of these uh, modern monetary theory and many other initiatives they have been absorbed and uh, used to further the interests of the power classes instead of and uh, and their revolutionary potential has been stripped away islamic economics and islamic banking is a, is a perfect illustration the genuine islamic economics and the genuine islamic banking will actually transfer the power to the poor but uh, in its current form it is just helping the uh, interests of the powerful and the rich next question is are ethics and morals relevant to economics so basically this is a very uh, strange question because actually economics is all about morality the idea that economics can can be done in a positive and value free way this is just ridiculous nonsense economics was and is a branch of moral philosophy but the problem is that in modern economics all of the moral judgments have been concealed and hidden if you ex examine them and if you bring them out it turns out that these moral judgments are really toxic to welfare of human beings and of this planet they uh, say they tell us that everyone has to pursue wealth and wealth is what it's all about wealth is what building wealth is what our human lives are about and societies are prosperous if they have more wealth all of this is nonsense and uh, this pursuit of wealth leads to very harmful outcomes for all and so the only solution is to bring eth ethics and morality to the center and to discuss it openly instead of hiding it as it is done by modern economics so the seventh question is history of economic thought relevant actually very surprisingly this is a very very important topic because when you when you study how economic ideas emerge then you learn how they are entrenched within the historical context and they are built to support the power full classes and uh, the discussion and debate and dialogue and battles of ideas this creates an enormous amount of clarity about the uh, truth the eighth question is what is the outcome of all of this what is the implication of all of this for islamic economics well when you look at a genuine islamic economics it's really a revolutionary system in which we um, take justice as our main idea and social solidarity all of humanity is descendants of adam and eve alayhi salam and then uh, this creates uh, we are all a family and the idea that uh, to build the whole system as a family and the planet as our habitat which is given to us as trust uh th this will lead to a radically different way of uh resolving economic problems which cannot be imagined by current modern competitive economics today economics is in the process of destroying the world and so islamic economics offers the only genuine hope for the future so to conclude this lecture uh, we currently have a golden opportunity a large number of heterodox alternatives to economics have been tried and have failed because they share the same background eurocentric assumption so they cannot really launch a revolution islam provides a genuine alternative because it based on heart and soul which have been excluded from western epistemology capitalism is based on purely exploitation of all resources whether it's human or animal or biological or environmental and this production of wealth is destroying the planet creating an islamic alternative is essential for the future of mankind and today muslims have a golden opportunity to build a system based on the final perfect and complete message of god to mankind based on cooperation generosity and social responsibility if we can build and demonstrate such a model all of humanity will be uh, looking for it